What's up guys, it's your boy Corey here with Inspector Gadget and today we're going to be taking a look at Google's new foray into the TV and internet market called Google Fiber. So let's get inspecting. Now guys, I'm very excited because Google has been shaking up various industries from its cars that drive themselves to Nexus 7 shaking up the tablet market and soon the TV and internet market with Google Fiber. Now Google Fiber starts with a connection speed of 1 gigabit per second upload and 1 gigabit per second download, which is 100 times faster than the average offerings on the market today. I mean, we're talking 1,000 megabits per second. Now guys, I don't know if you really realize just how ridiculously fast this is but these kinds of speeds will completely eliminate HD movie buffering online gaming will be a breeze and most downloads will be downloaded virtually instantaneously I mean Google is definitely gunning for the major cable satellite and broadband providers with this one I mean you'll you'll have instant access to Netflix and YouTube to watch live videos on-demand movies and TV shows with this kind of bandwidth your HD content will look crystal clear as there won't be any need to heavily compress the data. Now get this, included with the service is a DVR with two terabytes of space. Not to mention the free one terabyte cloud storage uh, using Google Drive that they give you. And uh, the DVR can record eight programs simultaneously. So now Google Fiber is only in its test phase and it's only available in select neighborhoods, uh, I mean fiber hoods as they call it, in Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas City, Kansas. So here's the fee schedule. Now you'll get up to one gigabit upload and download speeds, full channel TV lineup, two-year contract, of course, with no data caps. You also get a Nexus 7 tablet, which is your remote control for your TV. And you get a TV box, storage box, network box, one terabyte Google Drive, and you get all of this for $120 per month, you know, plus taxes and fees. Now you can also add on an optional Chromebook to the mix starting at $299. Also, you can just do internet. If you just wanted to do internet, you can do internet for 70 bucks a month, and you get one gigabit per second upload and download. That's just ridiculous, guys. 70 bucks a month? I mean, even the $120 per month with the TV and the crazy internet speeds, that's just a, a great deal, guys. Now, here's the crazy part. The last option is just crazy. Google is giving away free internet guaranteed for seven years for a one-time construction fee, fee of $300. Or you could just do the 12 monthly payments for $25. Now, the free internet speeds average 5 megabits per second down and 1 megabits per second up. And that's what you know most people are getting an average in America right now. So now, of course, there has to be the negative side to all of this hype and excitement, right? You know, there are those people who feel that Google will fail with Google Fiber because they won't be able to turn a profit giving the pricing structure and the infrastructure cost. But profit is not why Google is creating Google Fiber, just as it's not the reason they created the Nexus 7 tablet. What Google is doing is putting pressure on broadband companies to deliver higher quality service for more reasonable prices, just as they're pressuring tablet manufacturers to do the same. Uh, why would Google be doing this? Because Google is in the media consumption business. The more people who have devices and services capable of handling and delivering media instantaneously, the more content like YouTube and Netflix TV shows and movies will be consumed. You know, thus more ad revenue for media companies. It just makes sense. Well, I don't know about you, but if they ever start offering Google Fiber in my area, <laughs> I'm on it like jelly beans on gadgets. <laughs> so, guys, tell me what you think about Google Fiber. Do you think it's a good idea? Would you pay for it? Would you buy it? I've got a link down below if you want more information about Google Fiber. Also, if there's anyone in the Kansas City, Kansas area or Kansas City, Missouri area that's had a chance to check it out at Fiber Space or had it, had it built in your area, let us know what's up. Guys, follow us on Twitter at Inspect the Gadget and click on that link on my channel to hook into my Google Plus circle. Hit the like button if you like this video. Post your questions and comments about Google Fiber. Let me know what you think. As always, I'm Corey with Inspect the Gadget, and I will see you on the other side. Peace.